Good morning everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful time. So first of all, I'm gonna wish Happy Easter for everyone celebrating Easter this Sunday. And of course, I'm here to update you about the latest situation in Thailand concerning the rules and obligations if you are willing to come to Thailand very soon. So let's start it right now. First of all guys, I wish you again Happy Easter and of course Happy Songkran which is the Thai New Year. As you see, I am on my way to the airport heading to Phuket and from there we'll have a drive to Phang Nha Bay to do some beautiful vlogs. So keep an eye on the channel, let's take the airport link and see you there. So as every weekend, we are updating you about the latest from Thailand and things are getting much better by time. In today's vlog, we are going to talk about the situation of the airport after the removal of the pre-departure PCR test, the mess that happened and how it was solved, the smooth Songkran festivals and of course the opening big step that might happen in two weeks and Thailand can be on the right path by removing the PCR test and why not the Thailand pass. So lots of interesting informations, let us start it right now. The pre-departure PCR tests were removed and this made a big change on the arrival situation at Suwanapum airport. Now before I talk about that, let me give you an important information about this matter. Most of the airlines now are following the rules applied at the arrival country. So if you are flying to Thailand, then Thailand don't require a pre-arrival PCR test. Then the airlines will not require to before boarding. Of course, there could be some minor exceptions, but in general, that's the case. Now let's talk what happened in Suwanapum airport. A mess happened at the airport that was the topic of the week everywhere on social media. After the complaints made that the arrivals are getting lost and wasting time by searching for their hotels to take their taxis and so on. Well, what happened really that the number of the arrivals went 6 to 7 thousand more per day. So the test and go counters could not handle that and the mess happened. But very quickly Suwanapum airport handled the situation and added more counters. Moreover, now you have a QR code that can help you to find your hotel very quickly. All in all, it's a mess but better than before. Now as we were talking about the mess but on the other hand, now the situation is much better at the airport and more tourist daily landing. This means that once the rules are eased, things will be back on track. But before we talk about the big possible opening step next month, let me tell you a little bit about the Songkran festivals and if it went dry or wet. As you know from the previous vlogs that Songkran festivals were supposed to be dry again this year too. And indeed, it was dry in most of the places in Thailand. And the celebrations were limited. But rules were broke in some areas like Koh San Road in Bangkok and Bangala Road in Phuket and Koh Samui. Well, after all, it's Songkran. But things went back dry after. So all in all, better than nothing. And hopefully, next year things will be normal again now let's jump into the main topic of today and see what's the coming next step. Well my friends, it seems that if everything goes well in the coming week, then May could be the start. And big changes can happen in the entry rules. Yes, the talks are serious and as I said in the title, big opening step and no Thailand pass. Let's talk about it.
Now the first big step is the removal of the arrival PCR test, which means the termination of the test and go and all the mess that is causing. Imagine, no one day bookings, no nothing. So what will be the alternative? Well, it could be just an ATK test or better. It might be nothing. Just you're vaccinated, then welcome, enjoy your vacation, which is more reasonable than any ATK test, which may cause another mess. This step will reveal in the coming week. So fingers crossed. Once it's applied, then vaccinated people can enter Thailand without any obligations. And moreover, the unvaccinated people might have an ATK test at the arrival. Now the details and changes will be revealed, as I said, next week. So let's hope for the best. Well, here we come to the most interesting part, which is no Thailand pass is also big possibility. But here, the point is little bit blurry if it happens. Does the removal of Thailand pass means no more extra cost like the insurance? Well, we have to check that once it happens. But at least that time wasting application can be removed. Now, there are other talks that it might stay and be much easier and less requirements, but I hope that it won't and it will vanish forever. Now let's go back to talk about what really could happen in the next week. Till now, everything according to the schedule. And the reopening steps are much faster. So if they announce the test and go and Thailand pass terminated, then things are back on track. But if not, the less could be the PCR replaced with ATK and less requirements and easy Thai pass. Once all this happened. But let's hope for the best. Well guys, I hope my explanations were clear to you and hopefully next week I will make a big announcement in the updating vlog. Now it's time to fly. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.